all right guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you how to turn on multiplayer on microsoft flight simulator 2020 i'm in the outside view right now let me go ahead and switch it up so let's go inside all right so we are now inside this is the main menu of microsoft flight simulator so we want to go over to world map i'm going to click on world map and first i think i'm going to show you guys how to actually set up a flight um that's one question that i've been asked a lot how do you set up a flight so first you go to departure click below departure and then you type in where you want to go in particular we're going to use MIA we're going to use KMIA it pops up then you're going to zoom into the airport and that is Miami International Airport then after that you're going to want to choose your runway that's very important so here it has this runway number 26 left if you want to set that as a departure or arrival we can set it right here we can also set from the gate so what we're going to do if you want to depart from the gate you can set departure from the gate which is pretty cool and you're going to go over to where you actually want to take off. You want to take off on runway 9 today because we're going over to JFK. So in order to set the arrival, you click on arrival, type in KJFK. That's the airport code for New York. Um, that's where you want to go to. And we click on the airport right there and it pops up. And we have a 2 hour and 10 minute flight over to New York. We can zoom in and see which runway we're going to be landing at, which is going to be runway 4 left. And we are good. That's how you set up a flight. That's quick and easy. And these are the planes you can choose from. I'm going to show you guys in another video how to buy planes in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. These are all the planes I have. But for now, let's go ahead and show you guys how to turn on multiplayer. Go over to the right, click on flight conditions, and then you have the different multiplayer options. You have all players and you have live players and all players is what I normally have it on so I'm going to show you so all players will be visible so that's what you want to have it on um, most of the time and then you have air traffic air traffic you have live air traffic and then off to our right here you have AI traffic um, so AI traffic and then after that you have off so you can decide whatever you want to do but in this specific um, situation, I always leave it as live traffic. And you go on to weather and time, you have live, preset, and custom. I normally set it to preset sometimes to have the different types of um, weather. I'm gonna show you here on the right. You have a lot of different um, weather to choose from. All right, let's go back over here. And then you have AI, oh, that's the traffic. So you got the different traffics. Always set it to live traffic. Then we're gonna fly. Click fly, and that should take us over to our flight. We are flying a beautiful Boeing 737 MAX Southwest right now. And we are lined up on the runway because we didn't set it at, as gate. There's another thing you need to do. You need to go to general options, pause the game, go to general options. And then after you go to general options, go to the left hand side. These There are some slides at the left hand side. And you want to go to traffic. Traffic, go to traffic. And after you go to traffic, you go to the right hand side. You go to air traffic type. Make sure this is set to real time not off set it to real time online so you can see everybody and then below that you have the nameplate so make sure you turn the nameplates to on mine is set to off right now I'm switching on so this is how you see other players find the name tags so make sure that is on and then you press uh, apply and save and then you're good to go and then you go back out and you are ready for your flight so i'm going to show you guys a quick takeoff here it's not going to be the best i'm going to be using one hand because one hand is going to be on the yoke another hand is going to be on the camera so um another thing is i'm going to be doing another review for the yoke i have i have the velocity one um yoke you can get it on amazon i'll give you guys a link in the video that i post so we are now taking off trying my best to stay on the center line i'm doing a horrible job right now but let's see all right take off speed like 140 take off speed set v1 rotate and we are up all right oh I almost forgot to put my landing gear up let me see if we can find the button all right so it looks like I found it this is it right here perfect and we are up up and away beautiful scenery here as we lift off all right so now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually open a VFR map while you're flying because that's very important that's how you see where you're going so you press that button at the top and then you drag the VFR map over and you can see the pink line is very important this is 100 nautical miles out you're gonna zoom out to 200 nautical miles and you can drag this thing all the way over to your destination in this case our destination is going to be JFK so 
if you drag it all the way over i'm going to speed this up in just a few seconds here just so we can actually see the um, runway that we're going to so let's go ahead and speed this up and there we go that's jfk right there and that's the airport we're going to and we're good to go just put this back over to the left and press play and we are good to go and that is it guys that's basically it so if you guys want to join me on my live flights or fly with your friends feel free to hop on and try those settings it should work i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for tuning on take care guys I got my mark in my hand landing this thing. I got it. Let me see. I got this. I got this. All right, let's see if we can pull this landing off. All right, let's idle the fan engines real quick. Ah, uh, coming in a little bit too fast. Come on, come on. All right. Not too bad. Welcome to Orlando, guys. Welcome to the beautiful Orlando. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me go. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Yeah, we float. We're trying to get this plane down. Oh, way too, oh, way too fast. Come on. All right. Welcome to Princess Juliana, guys. Beautiful scenery here at Princess Juliana. Looks amazing. There's a beautiful cruise ship also right there. Are there any seaplanes in the game? Yeah, definitely. We just had an update like a week ago and they added a beautiful seaplane. So I might fly that plane before we um land. Make sure you guys um, hit that like button. Let's try to get 30 likes before this live ends. We're at 16 right now. Let's try to get a 30. Appreciate you guys, man. The record it was 34. It's 34 likes. That'd be awesome if we can hit 35 tonight. All right, no problem, Ryan. I appreciate you, bro. You just liked it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's see what we can do here. Whoever suggested, I think Rhino suggested this. It was an awesome suggestion, man. I love their approach. It looks nice. Thank you, bro. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, and we are down. Bro, you're so underrated, man. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs>